Emptiness and Fullness, Chapter 6. Recently, I did an audio proverb video about do not go to others and cause others to come to you. Now, this proverb can be misleading and easily un misunderstood because it is not to be taken literally for the most part. We're talking morally if the situation calls for who is mo more, uh, most moral, who is just, who is upright. And in a case where maybe it's business to business, where it's very competitive, even though there are morals involved, it's more about blocking the competition and keeping them back. So in that case, the one that can keep their opponents back, keep their opponents from being able to compete with them through whatever type of uh, features or, or technology they have, that would make that opponent full and keep others empty. And it has nothing to do with proximity in so far as going to others is not necessarily, and in most cases will not mean physically. You can go to somebody physically and be full because you have the moral ground. You are more upright. You have more knowledge. You have a better technology. And then whatever these uh, other opponents do, you see right at once when they start moving, this is what they're doing. I can show them how they're wrong or this is how I can block them from competing with me. That's what's meant by fullness. It's not a matter of proximity, even though just listening to it, that's what it sounds like. Do not go to others as if you're supposed to stay home and not go outside and make phone calls or get on social media and make everybody come to you physically. That makes no sense at all. Uh, we're talking about in so far as conflict is involved, who has the high ground, the one who has the high ground, who causes others to fall into their own trap, so to speak. The person who understands, sees that this person who's being deceptive and what exactly what they're doing. So they, they, they let them carry out their plans as long as they see fit to the point where it'll be obvious where they can't get back out of it and play it off and say, no, that's what I was, wasn't what I was doing. These types of strategies involve emptiness and fullness and this is what the concept of emptiness and fullness is really about i'm austin with the art of war made easy don't forget to subscribe on youtube for more videos daily